Welcome to the St. Michael Fall podcast series. My name is Christian Basil and I will be leading our meditation today. Our theme this fall is building our future. This is a unique time in the history of St. Michael Church. God is calling us to take courageous steps forward. Together we will build a future where the kingdom of God can be seen and known in new ways. As the psalmist says, send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 9, verses 27 through 34. As Jesus went on from there, two blind men followed him, crying loudly, Have mercy on us, son of David. When he entered the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. And their eyes were opened. Then Jesus sternly ordered them, See that no one knows of this. But they went away and spread the news about him throughout that district. After they had gone away, a demoniac, who was mute, was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, The one who had been mute spoke, and the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. Here ends the reading. Our story begins with two blind mice, I mean men, who teach us a powerful lesson about faith and vision even in the absence of physical sight. These two blind men display an extraordinary ability to perceive the truth through faith. Somehow they are following Jesus around even though they can't see. Their hearts could see what their eyes could not. And this passage reminds us that faith is often about seeing what is beyond the physical, believing in what seems impossible, and trusting that God's power transcends our limitations. As we undertake the ambitious task of building projects for our church community, we can learn something from the faith of these two people. Faith is a foundational cornerstone of any endeavor. Faith is there to show us that the future we envision is possible. And this is true for many of us in our daily lives. Faith makes it possible for us to achieve our goals, to reorder things that don't work, to look beyond what is present. It was a little over eight years ago that I took one of the biggest leaps of faith yet in my life. I had decided that I needed to transition from one career to another, and that path was filled with uncertainty and questions. But in that journey, I discovered that faith is the bridge between where we are and where we are called to be. It began when I realized that I could not make a career out of law enforcement. As interesting and rewarding as the job could be, and even though I helped people in many ways, it was almost as if I couldn't help them in the way that they needed most. It sounds like at this point that I might have thought about ministry, but no, I totally ignored that sense of call and went into a teaching program instead. It was only after completing this program and after working at my church for a while that I trusted the faith that made me take that first step in the first place. Only then did I begin the discernment process and enter seminary. What I take away from that period of life is that there were several years of personal building and preparation, constructing a foundation of belief, knowledge, and devotion. Only then was I able to cross that bridge of faith and step into the full life that I felt God calling me to. In many ways, the story of the blind man following Jesus serves as a symbol of our own journeys. Just as they followed Jesus in faith, even though they could not physically see him, we too follow our calling and vision with the same unwavering trust, even when the path ahead may be unclear. 
What's interesting in this passage is what Jesus tells the two blind men after they profess their faith. He touches their eyes and says, according to your faith, let it be done to you. It's a reminder that faith has the power to shape our reality. Faith looks forward beyond obstacles and beyond the tasks ahead of us. It looks to what is possible. And I think the same thing can be applied to our community. Because we don't just have faith in building projects. We don't just have faith that the obstacles of space changes and messes and traffic disruptions will be overcome. It's not just about putting faith in the bricks and mortar that will be used to construct new buildings. It's about having faith that something greater is possible. That constructing a space where people can come together and worship, to learn about God and to support one another in their faith journeys in new and better ways is the goal. The story of the blind men might remind us that our faith is leading us where we are called to be. As we move forward as a community, may we carry that faith with us and with God's guidance create the space that will build and foster the full life of the community that we have been created to be. Amen. Please join me as we continue with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you are always more ready to hear than we to pray, and to give us more than we either desire or deserve. Pour upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things for which we are not worthy to ask, except through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.